okay um, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to edit uh, the employee directory and uh, add in employees uh, employee directory is under the staff uh, link here and you can only access this link uh, if you are logged in as a <coughs> user so if, if we click on employee directory here you can see that uh, all of this uh, each one of this box represent uh, uh, one employee as you can see Jess is here and the rest are just uh, currently uh, dummy posting because uh, we haven't filled up the employees yet so up here are the departments of Jetty Tinggi so if you say click on account and purchase so all the um, employees under this apartment would appear here okay in order to add in employees and uh, remove them uh, let's go to the back end and after you log in uh, all the employees are under portfolio so if you go to this column and go to portfolio pages you can see that uh, Jess is here and also the rest uh, of the dummy uh, employee listing uh, so what you need to do is uh, in order to add a new employee you just need to hover onto uh, any existing employee here, but employee here uh, the best would be this one the first one Jess so we go here and hover your mouse here and you can see duplicate this and if you hit on duplicate this you will see that another duplicate of Jess would be here and it, and it says draft so this one is uh, the original uh, Jess uh, employee listing uh, this is the new one that which we copied so immediately you want to go to edit and the first thing you want to do is change the name because we are adding a new person so put in the name here and on this link you need to click on edit and remove this name just to delete and leave it blank and hit ok and it will use the name that you type in on, on, on top here so the rest would be uh, quite easy uh, so the second thing is to uh, assign this new employee to whichever de department that he belongs to okay so the, uh, an employee can belong to two different uh, or, or more apartments also so you can uh, take uh, any number of departments uh, uh, that this employee uh, belongs to okay so uh, on the info uh, of each em employee there's only two uh, one is the details here on the right side uh, if we go to the front end to have a look if we click on jazz here so we got a left side photo and a right side details here uh, which is in text format and if we were to go back behind you can hover your mouse here and you can see a green box click on the this pencil sign to edit it and this is like editing a what do you call a document in Microsoft Word yeah so you just uh, delete uh, edit or whatever uh, and you can also post a uh, paste uh, something direct from Microsoft Word onto here uh, but I suggest you paste under text mode so click on text mode first and and, and uh, paste under text mode and only then go back to visual mode if you don't paste you can edit directly here and remove and edit the details here okay and when, when you're done hit on save changes okay so the next thing is the image uh, also the photo uh, the photo uh, we click on this here this pen here and you can uh, add and remove photos here so you just click add and upload and uh, the image of the employee and when you are done just hit set image and uh, the picture would appear here so um, when you are done with this uh, make sure all these details remain the same like this and then you can hit uh, save changes on the photo it's better to use a 
totally square photo something like this photo would be nice uh, centered and a uh, frontal image uh, which is square so that we get a uniform look for all the employees here yeah? so if you go to image size here by the way this is a diff uh, this is an image editing program and if you look at the size here it says a uh, 640 by 640 so anything totally square like 500 by 500 600 by 600 800 by 800 would be fine i would say anything above 600 pixels would be would be fine okay so uh, one more thing when you're done with putting the image and editing the info here you also need to uh, remove this uh, featured image and assign it to the uh, photo of the employee you just uploaded so you click set featured image now and in search back uh, the photo you have uploaded which is this one for instance and click on set featured image yep so uh, that's the uh, five important things that you need to do edit the name put in a new image edit the info of this employee put in his department and uh, assign uh, the featured image you uploaded then you can hit publish and if you hit publish right now And if we were to go back to the main employee directory under staff, uh, this one, and you can see the new person is, is here, Robin. Okay.